G'day, mate. Welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, G'day. We're standing here at the other pole, the other end of our planet, um, because, well, we're starting to run out of room. And I just wanted to come down here and check on our rocket system because we're like two thirds of the way there. And we're at 15, we'll call it 15 gigawatts. 15 gigawatts so far. Um, we've got our tire trackers, well, it's a Factorio belt or it's a tire track. All depends on how you look at it. Uh, it's mostly done. It's still got some work to do, obviously. And we're back here for hopefully, hopefully the last episode that we require to get uh, our green science up and running. So we have uh, a power pole in here. So you stop flashing at me. We have. We have Yellow Science at the top. Yellow Science is good. Yellow Science is great. Yellow Science is done. Yellow Science literally just needs a tower, which we might as well throw in now. Um, well, all the builds have extended out further and further and further. So let's put the tower... Where is... Well, that's a Meridian. Uh, let's put the tower... There. Doesn't exactly matter where we put it so we'll just dump it all the way out there we'll run our belt we'll shove that straight in the tower we will add power poles we'll set you to be yellow science with some shippies with some warpers uh local supply done dusted you're good you're ready to go uh, we can start Yellow Science at least kicked off. So Yellow Science is up. Yellow Science is running. Uh, Yellow Science should be good. In saying that, we probably have a small problem with not nearly enough uh, Kimberlite. Or... Technically, it needs to be remote, remote. Yeah, we'll set it that way. Okay, so... Yellow Science is up and running. Then we come on to Green Science. Green Science requires, uh, well... Engines to make engines to make green engines. Green engines go into particle containers. Particle containers, uh, which require graphene, go into uh, strange matter, which we still don't have deuterium hooked up for. But it's, it's a later journey problem still. Uh, which comes down into our uh, graviton lenses. Graviton lenses come in here and actually start becoming one half of the green sites. The other one is our uh, quantum chips which require processes, which are done. Uh, they also require... Uh, no, that's the turning glass. They require... Ah, there we go. The plane filters. The plane filters require titanium glass, which is up above. It's already hooked in. We're missing all the sorters. We haven't got to that part yet. Uh, they also require the cashmere crystals. The cashmere crystals are, in theory, if I added all the ships with all the warpers. That's probably important. Uh... Local demand, remote supply, remote demand, no supply. Uh, they require... The, the cashmere crystals require uh, the titanium... Titanium crystals? Titanium... Yeah, titanium crystals, which we're just in the process of getting up and running. Uh, can I set that to there with that to there? Uh, the titanium crystals, which are up and running, they also require a whole bunch of... Uh, hydrogen, which we are adding warpers to slowly. Uh, local demand, remote supply. Uh, finally, another lot of ships. Local supply, remote demand. Yeah, you've already got your ships. I have no idea where you're getting them from. Oh, actually, we've got a gas giant. We're rotating around a gas giant! That does not have a lot of hydrogen per second, but it has something. Uh, and lastly, we have our alternative source of hydrogen, which comes from our fire ice all the way up here, which we've been, for the moment, just shoving this tower. Um, now that can flow down here. You don't have any ships. That seems like an issue. Mm. Oh, because you're being belt fit. You're being belt fed from the fire ice on the planet. 
Yes, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so that can come down here, that's being fed into that tower, out of that tower, into the next tower, so on and so forth. The last thing we need to set up is we need to set up one more belt of graphene. So one more belt of graphene looks very similar to our last belt of graphene. It's going to require a graphene belt going in this direction. Uh, then it's going to require a fire ice belt going in this direction. Then it's going to require the actual chemical plants themselves, uh, right back there. It's going to require a hydrogen belt going in this direction, right to the middle of the tower. Uh, we'll get you to output fire ice. Graphene needs to go into two different locations. Uh, first one... Oh, that's already raised. Oh, never mind. You go straight underneath the bottom. Uh, can I... Um, technically that should be fine you know what if I move that sort of from there to that side now I feel a bit more comfortable okay uh, we're gonna get that belt to go to there instead uh, okay then we need a second chemical plant which is gonna require another belt of fire ice going in uh, that direction come on Line up the belts. Uh, and you're going to have your output belt of graphene coming in this direction, which will have to come to that tile. That tile. Okay, maybe it'll have to come to this tile. We're going to have to bring you. Ooh, no. Uh, you're going to go straight. You're going to go up. Yes. Then you're going to go to that tile. Down and into there. Yes. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to set you to do fire ice recipe and you to do fire ice recipe. We need you to output your hydrogen in the middle and in the middle we need to bring in fire ice here bring out graphene there bring in fire ice here bring out graphene there we need you to do fire ice in please sir uh hydrogen in as well we need a remote demand we need to throw you in some shippies give you whatever hydrogen i happen to have laying around you don't technically need warpers because we revolve around a uh, ice giant. So you're pretty much good to go. Uh, and then we just need a whole bunch of chemical plants. In fact, we need two rows of 30 chemical plants. That's 15. Okay, so we need to bring belts very, very much in this direction. Uh, one belt. Two belts. Uh... Tree belt, and I just noticed that fault line. Now we're not building on the ice. I can actually see it. And I think uh, we managed to skip it by all of a tile. That's all that matters. One tile is perfectly fine between friends. Uh, you go that direction. You go that direction. I don't know how big this build has to be, apart from 60 chemical plants. I don't know how big 60 chemical plants are, apart from big. And power is a problem. Why am I not surprised? Why would my day go any different? Uh, okay, so put those there first. Put the... Nope. Uh, sorters, please. I would like some sorters. Uh, all of the sorters. Uh, actually, whilst we're here... Chemical plants? No. Uh, that one. Ah, uh, like 13? I don't need a heap. I just need a few. Okay, uh, that can plant. Oh my gosh, why for you not line up? Oh, they move at different rates around the world. Oh my god. Yep, they're on different curves. Even though they're in the same grid line. do is we'll just get the bottom build done okay uh 
which is now going to come all the way out to here. Okay, I'm not even going to question things anymore. You go to there, you go to there, and you go to there. Okay, I'm going to assume the other one is going to be just as big. It's probably not. I oh, we could tab them out. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so we're going to bring you from there to there. Okay, so that's the 30 that we need. And we're going to grab this guy and drag him around. We're going to press tab three times it seems. Three times seems to be the magic number. So they line up with their friends on the other side of the belt. Uh, actually, I'm going to start on top of you. Which will give me one short. There we go. Place that. And just drag you one extra tile. Done. Dusted. Uh, remove the erroneous belts. Uh, sure. That doesn't look connected at all. Okay. Alright. So, with that done, it should be a case of add power every second chemical plant going to need its own power pole and with that done we should be good to go like it should be no 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 there's a whole bunch of sorters I missed on a previous build uh, the actual plane filters themselves they don't have well they don't have cashmere crystals being imported inputted and they don't have oh they don't have filters. Uh, fire ice. And fire ice. Okay. So, fire ice running 60% uh, power. Well, that's a thing. Alright, so that should give us... Uh, should give us... Um, oh, you go from there to there. Okay. So, that should give us... Um, crystals. 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 Uh, can I... Thank you. Alright, so that should give us cashmere crystals. Cashmere crystals, we're going to have to bring up a tile. It's going to have to come to here somewhere. We'll work out exactly where you go in half a second. Uh, whilst we're here, I'm going to throw miners on this patch. Because waste not, want not. Uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze in. Done. Okay. Uh, can I get a tower? Here? Sure. Uh, you're going to do iron ore. We're going to bring in. Uh, iron ore like so. Iron ore like so. You can share the same belts. Uh, lack of iron. Really? I'm out of belts again? Uh. There to there to there to there to there. Throw a power pole right here in the middle. Done. Dusted. Okay. Cashmere crystals. Cashmere crystals need to go into both these builds. Okay. Obviously, you line up perfectly with there. So, we're going to use that as our starting point. Alright. We're going to bring in... Input. Input. Output. Input. Output input okay so with that done we're gonna drag you plus i'm gonna drag you whoops that failed uh that did not fail it just didn't make the sound i like the sound it doesn't want to make the sound for me there we go there's the sound i like the sound okay so you're gonna to go to there to there to there all right so that's gonna give us uh our plane filters. Now, plane filters are... No, cashmere crystals. Let's start with cashmere crystal. I want them around the, the other way. Already, I can see that. Okay, no, no. What I want to do is I want to put in the other set of sorters. Let's do that. Let's go all the way back to the start. Let's grab... So I'm trying to avoid using splitters. As I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, splitters in theory have been optimized but 
they're still not optimized enough for my liking. If I can avoid using them, I'm going to avoid using them. And technically, as we only need one belt of cashmere crystals, I can just take my one belt of cashmere crystals and loop it out of one build into the next build, which is what I want to do. Okay? That's what I really want to do. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that. We're going to bring you... You're already raised. We're going to raise you back up for our titanium glass. And we're going to put you in there. Okay, so that gives me room to bring you out. Uh, I need you to come out and go up. I think. I can keep you on the flat. Let's keep you on the flat. Let's go from up to down. And up to up to down. there to there. That means your output of plane filters can run flat. Your output of plane filters can run flat after I rebuild this whole belt. Uh, there to there to remove that belt. Yeah, the power grid's not happy with me. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll fix it shortly. Alright. Remove that whole belt. Run the belt. Run the belt. Remove that belt. Run the belt to here. Okay, and you're going in the opposite direction, so you're fine. I should be able to copy you to there and you to there. Uh, output, output, input, input. Okay, in theory, that's right. I want to see some cashmere crystals on the belt just to confirm. I actually don't need to see them because I can now tell the, the belt we're rebuilding is the that what's now my left. So that should be fine. So it should be a case of come to here. Uh, grab. Run out of sorters instantly. Uh, sorters, please. All 500. Because I'm using what? Three per minute? Ooh three per machine and I have uh, two rows of 60 so 120 machines at three per machine is uh, what 360 360 sorters just gone uh, okay so that's that build then I should be again be able to copy from here and go this direction. Further. Further drag. Everything's lining up so far. Nobody's complaining. As long as I click on the right thing. Okay. And... Yeah, there's the cashmere crystals. The titanium glass is disappearing as the build kicks into order. Uh, we have stuff coming out. Icarus is doing his run through the whole build, making sure all the sorters are down. Which means this final belt should give me uh, everything I need for quantum processes. In theory. We'll call that a success. So, we now have quantum processes are just kicking in. They're going to take six seconds to pop the first one out. Pop the first one out. We now have yeah, green science. Green science is going to require a tower. Uh, where do we put the yellow tower? Oh, all the way over here somewhere. Okay, fine. Let's just keep walking. Hey, that's where it's going to be. Right. So, with that done... You have an output yet. Oh, because it's again, a, it's a 24 second cycle. Oh, yeah. And there's no speeding that up. That is the speed at which the science runs at. Uh, I missed entirely. All right, we'll reshoot that. We'll just, we'll just pretend I put it in the right spot to start with. 
Uh, is that water? No? No, it's just ice. Okay, fine. It sort of looks like liquid water. Uh, okay, shove that in there. You are going to do green science, sir. Uh, you're going to have some not shippy shippies. I have any shippy shippies. I need shippy shippies. Uh, we need... Nope. Uh, I will take all 100 of those. All 500 of those. Uh, okay. We're going to put ships in there. Uh, we're also going to bring in warpers again. I'm going to set that nice and low. Local demand, remote supply. We're going to add power poles to the closest power network. Done. Uh, I don't see any... Oh, because there's three belts missing. There's always three belts missing. Alright, so with three belts done, you should be running. Now, first thing I need to do is I need to fix the power problem. Let's be honest. Power problem is the number one Wow. Wow, you're full. Okay. Power problem. Alright, to fix the power problem, we're going to turn on any matter, please. We're going to grab a, a, a micro sun to start with. We're going to drag that around. We're going to hit tab as many times as we have to so it actually builds. And place that out to there. Uh, we're going to get rid of that wind turbine. And it depowers the whole planet. Oh, that's a cool wind turbine. Best wind turbine ever. Hardest working wind turbine in the world. Fine, but a real... Actually, can I fit another one on? <sighs> Ooh, we can fit a sun beside a sun. Uh, we're already down to 91%, so we're actually okay. Actually, no. Let's, let's look at this properly. Alright. Drag that from there to there. Tab it out until it lines up. Nope. That's where you line up. Fine. That's a lot less than what I wanted, but if you line up, it means I should be able to put a sun behind the sun, and they also line up with straight sorters, which means I get to add a second row, which is probably going to be important, because we don't need it yet, but there's a very good chance we will in the not-too-distant future. Okay, so with that done, hang on. Oh no, that's one build of four. That, 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 that's one belt's worth. Okay. I got worried that I built two belts up here worth ages ago. Alright. So with that done, Yellow Science should be running. We can confirm with the tower being full, the Yellow Science is running. Uh, as long as you get in Deuterium, which it looks like we're getting in, in Dribs and Drabs, we're getting Strange Matter. If we're getting in Strange Matter, we're getting in the Graviton Lenses. We're not getting in nearly enough Strange Matter, but... I need to do a whole lot of uh, hydrogen cracking into uh, deuterium, which requires a whole lot of fractionators, which I never put in the network because I didn't think we'd end up doing a whole lot of off-planet uh, fractionatoring. Uh, in, in, in. Okay, but with that said, I think... What's on those two belts? That belt is... What is that belt? Uh, that belt is a lack of titanium. Okay! We need to go back to icy smelting and yell at it at once again. But, I think... Oh, and you have way too much hydrogen. Uh, cause I never hooked up your hydrogen output. Aha! Uh, number two, and that goes up a tile. And comes to here. Managed to end up with any hydrogen in my inventory. Okay. And you're going to need a higher charge rate. Yeah. Like, like a few of these guys, actually, especially these need, need to bring in the hydrogen. They're going to need a very hard, high charge rate. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Autosave. Thanks, autosave. Okay. 
So, we need to go back to Icy Smelting. We need to have a chat with Icy Smelting once again. Uh, you are processing and disposing of hydrogen as fast as you possibly can. Yep. Yep. Uh, but, like, we're not short of uh, graphene. Graphene is running into these guys. These guys are actually out of titanium. Yeah, we. It, it's, it's again... Go have a chat to icy smelting. I don't know what the cause is. It could just be that we don't have enough dedicated titanium smelting. So it could be an easy one. Uh, where is this guy? You have titanium. It's not a warper issue. Oh yeah, it's 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 we need to turn on more smelters back at icy smelting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, well, with all that said, I think this is where we're gonna call it. We have everything technically turned on. Like, it might not be running perfectly. We fixed the power on this planet. Obviously, we're held up by icy smelting. But in theory, providing our smelting keeps up, because I think that's the only thing that we really haven't yelled at repeatedly. We have a situation we should we should be able to do 30 of every science pack per second. Except for Universe Matrix. And I do not want to start on Universe Matrix this episode. I want to do Universe Matrix in its own dedicated episode. So, this is where I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it here. I'm going to thank you guys for watching, as always. Really short episode compared to the last couple. But, like, we've got everything running. Like, in theory, we're good. In theory, we can move on. In theory, uh, I'm going to, between episodes, go back to Icy Smelting. Just turn on a whole bunch of smelters. Because that's probably the easiest answer. And then, then next episode, we can make, actually... You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You've, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. You've convinced me. Let's go have a look at Icy Smelting really quickly. Because it, it's only about a minute away. It is only about a minute away. And it also means that I can remind you guys that if you want to have a planet or have a star named after you, this is your opportunity. Your opportunity is down beside the like button, the subscribe button. There is the join button. You can join. You can become a channel member for as cheap as a dollar a month, a dollar a month, cheaper than a chocolate bar. Jetty is a very, very cheap man. You can come and become a, a member of the channel and I will happily name a star after you. In fact, we're gonna go to a whole new star next episode and set up our white sites um, because I wanna do it on a new star. I wanna do it on a special star. Um, or if 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 you don't want to become a YouTube member, you can also, same as Taka did, where we're heading to our home system, you can also become a Patreon, Patreon member. Uh, both, uh, both sets of names go into a pool where, which I pull names from. I generally start with the newest members first. I work my way backward, at least that way everybody hopefully gets a chance to have uh, something named after them in a series. We need to crash land at full speed. Perfect. Uh, all right, we're looking for titanium. Titanium is here. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a jetty. You need more smelters. Uh, and what was the other one? Copper. I think that's also jetty. You need more smelters. Um, all right. First off, check these guys. Yes. Yeah. So we're burning through local resources in this system and copper. Yeah, we're just eating copper as fast as we can, and iron, as fast as we can smelt it. Glass is okay, brick is okay, coal is okay, silicon is okay-ish. Yeah, uh, so it should be as easy as copper. Um, remote remote uh, local local uh put in those guys put in those guys set you to do copper smelting uh click and drag uh drag drag and drag and then nope i boo boo this one okay again this is broken So, 
put that guy there. Put a sorter into there, out to there. Okay, drag with one more need. Put wind turbine. Yeah, it's not a power problem. Uh, right, where were we? We were clicking and dragging. Uh, that row, plus that row, plus that row. Uh, no, power load 27%. And even though I maxed that guy out as well, yeah, it's it's literally as fast as we can smelt it, it's been burnt up. Titanium is going to be the exact same, so I'm going to have to add some more titanium smelters, which I will do between episodes. Because um, we're going to need, in theory, like six lanes. Six lanes of titanium, all up. Uh, same time, I probably need to confirm that all these guys are set to full charge, full everything, go as fast as possible. Anyway! With all that said, as always, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next episode where we jump over and we start playing with the Universe Matrix. But that is definitely a reward for the next episode. Uh, yes, with all that said, I'm out. I'm done. As always, tell your mum. Jedi said hi. All right. Bye.